Hi there. Welcome back to our video series of building recommendation systems with TensorFlow. My name is Wei, and I'm a developer advocate at Google. In this video, we're going to talk about a community project, TFRA, TensorFlow Recommenders Add-ons. TensorFlow Recommenders Add-ons is a collection of projects related to large-scale recommendation systems. For example, with model size exceeding one terabyte. It leverages dynamic embedding technologies to make it easier to train, evaluate, and serve large-scale models for recommendation systems. TFRA has been successfully deployed into production in multiple companies with significant positive outcome. For example, VIP.com, an e-commerce company, deployed TFRA in production and was able to see a 10% uplift in customer conversion. TFRA is fully maintained by the Seek Recommenders add-ons community with support from the TensorFlow team. The special interest group currently has more than 500 members, and you are welcome to join if you are looking to build large-scale recommendation models. One of the biggest benefits of TFRA is dynamic embedding. If you recall from our last video, we mentioned using the hashing trick to accommodate new user IDs or item IDs in your model. That's one way to do it. But TFRA gives you another way to handle this. TFRA allows you to dynamically increase or decrease the embedding table size, which often achieves better recommendation results than the static embedding in native TensorFlow. This is particularly useful for the online learning scenario in which the data arrives in a sequential manner and is used to update the model continuously instead of in a batched mode. TFRA is fully TensorFlow 2 compliant and supports all the TensorFlow native components, such as optimizers, initializers, save the model, and so on. There are two sub-modules inside TFRA, dynamic embedding and embedding variables. We're going to focus only on dynamic embedding today. At a high level, TFRA dynamic embedding expresses sparse weights, which is very common in recommendation models, in two layers via an efficient key value store under the hood. This enables you to train large and dynamically changing embedding tables. The key value store has different implementations, for example, Cuckoo Hash, Redis, and RocksDB. And the community is working to add even more options. You should definitely experiment and pick the one that suits your needs. Given all this context, now you may be wondering how to use dynamic embeddings. It's actually pretty straightforward, since TFRA tries to comply with existing TensorFlow API interfaces and preserve compatibility by hiding all the implementation details under the hood. If you look at this code snippet, you can see that you can directly use our original TensorFlow initializers to initialize your variables. The main APIs for dynamic embedding are very similar to the native TensorFlow APIs in terms of naming, semantic, and functionality. You can also reuse all native optimizers to train your model. All you need to do is to wrap one with dynamic embedding optimizer. Now let's walk through a concrete example. This example uses the Amazon review dataset for digital video game, and it is available in the TFRA repository. This dataset has a number of customer reviews along with contextual information, such as product title and review body. The label is verified purchase, which is a binary. Our goal is to predict the purchase based on the review plus the customer and the product features. Now let's build a neural network with dynamic embedding to tackle this. From the dynamic embedding module, we use the field-wise embedding layer, which encodes the feature IDs into fields. A field means the category of a feature ID. Intuitively, you can think of a field as a bucket. Every feature ID belongs to a specific field slot, and feature IDs in the same field will be mapped into an embedding vector. Next, we define a flattened layer and three dense layers. In the call function, we stack them together, and this becomes our neural network. With our model in place, we can instantiate it and wrap the native TensorFlow atom optimizer with dynamic embedding optimizer. In the training loop, we encode the features to fit into the, our model and run the training with the familiar fit method. What's new here is that we can restrict the size of our embedding table. In the restrict method, we are telling dynamic embedding that when the embedding table reaches max size, shrink it down to 80% of max size and go on from there again. 
Now we run the code with a max invading size of 50,000 and max steps of 500. In the top graph, you can see that our embedding table keeps growing until its size reaches 50,000. Then its size shrinks down to 40,000, which is 80% of the max embedding size we specified. After 250 steps, the embedding size bounces between 40,000 and 50,000 which is exactly what we specified in the command line and the restrict method. So to summarize today, we introduced the TensorFlow recommenders add-ons to you. TFRA is particularly useful when you want to train large-scale recommendation models or when you want to dynamically resize embedding tables. With that, thank you for watching this video and see you next time. <laughs>